back part two, uh, I was talking to you about how basically um, we are souls within the world of matter and that the mythology of Osiris and Isis, Isis and Osiris, <clears throat> along with other mythologies around the world, the Popol Vuh, uh, of course, Babylonian Genesis, Akkadian Genesis and things like that. But Set chops them up in the 14 pieces. Uh, this is this signifies the, the the phases of the moon as well. 14 and 14 equals 28. There are 29 point something days of the moon cycle. However, you put them together, 14 and 14, you have 28, and then you have that shifting of uh, of the waning and waxing throughout the year. That's so. That's why Easter is a shifting holiday it moves it's a mo it's a port it's a what they call it a mobile holiday to where certain times it would go it would land on a different sunday than the you know the year before you know christmas don't do that uh you know a lot of the other holidays don't do that shit you know what i'm saying so uh also the february being black history month you have to understand osiris is known his, his name means the black god uh or the Black Nature, and uh, <laughs> Lord of the Perfect Black, all right? Uh, and so he represents Adam Catman, basically the universal primordial Adam, and uh, that primordial consciousness being born into this material, this material world and knowing it sooner, sooner or later. And this is why he becomes the civilizer and uh, these is, teaches all these things along with Isis teaches all kind of things to the world these are princip these are principality cosmic principalities that came during a time when the people started waking up and then they became they were their arch archetypes you know they come down from the world according to the Kabbalists of Atsilut which is the world of the intellect but the intellect intellectual world is really the world of the angels or the world of the um the givers of idea, the givers of wisdom and things like that. So, uh, you know, that goes on and on and on. So that happens, 14 pieces, 11, 14, 14 pieces, okay. Uh, Isis finds all the 14 but one. This symbolizes the uh, penis of Osiris, which is known as the phallus, which is known as the obelisk of today. And it's everywhere, Washington Monument, London, Vatican City, uh, it's just all around the world. They use it in cemeteries. It represents the resurrection, the raised erection, the resuscitation, and the 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 a new beginning and things like that. And the child Horus or Heru represents that concept of the new beginning, and the aspiration to know who you really are and things like that. He represents the inner Christ, that's born. The ch the father of the Christ is the soul. Therefore, the father in the sun are one who are all both derived from the spirit which is everything is derived from so we're now we're here in this in this physical flesh which is really the the black mother the black goddess who you know see the thing about biting the apple eve biting the apple and adam in in the garden of eden and giving it to adam is the same in a, in a particular sense as o Osiris getting the drink, getting this drink on with uh, Neptes, who is who was represented as, as black as a black goddess or a dark goddess and basically becoming having illusions of her being Isis, his true love, which is wisdom. The soul's true love is wisdom. That's what wakes it up. This is everything. Sleeping beauty. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The Seven Dwarfs represent the Seven Chakras. The Snow White, she's the one she wake. The white thing, everything. When they, anytime, this is why white people call themselves white. They're really Caucasians. They call themselves white because they because white represents purity. So, in a higher, you know, level of knowledge, they always want to wash their hands from the history, the bloody history that they brought on to the literal world because the indigenous people of the world are the children 
of Gaia or of Earth or of Tiamat or of of uh, the true soul in matter. You know what I'm saying? Known as the Patahites when you go to the Nuwabian and the Malachi Z York uh, information. Who was the first uh, person I ran into uh, as far as this information goes. So, I mean, I'm, I haven't even really even begun yet. <laughs> it's crazy. I can go on and on with this stuff, man. The, I will, so there's basically I want to read some stuff to you about that. You know, the soul, the black goddess. Neptune is not considered, you can't really consider her to be uh, evil. The soul is a part of who she is anyway. See, Isis, Osiris, Set, Neptune, they're all brothers and sisters anyway. And that's metaphysical, okay? It's not literal. See what I'm saying? This is energy, cosmic principles, intermingling, intertwining, you know, the caduceus, the cadestus, you know what I'm saying? Uh, also note that the CDC uses the cadestus or the caduceus as a symbol, and, this, and the three letters for CDC, all you need is another uh, uh, S and, or an S at the end, and you have caduceus, it's CDC, which is caduce. But Kadush is Kadush. Kadush is Kadesh. And Kadesh represents that uh, amazing uh, oily gift that is given from the Divine Mother, which a lot of scholars, especially the, the Afrocentric ones, relate to melatonin. And uh, I have a whole book on that, melatonin. Also, um, the, the book... One second. There's a book... The Angel in the Abyss by J.D. Gunther. Uh, this book is <coughs> really not to be uh, given to people. They don't, you know, see, you got people in the outside world who control these secret societies, these initiation ceremonies and rituals and things. <laughs> Excuse me. But the soul, <laughs> along with wisdom, spirit, and things like that, truth, my eye, is is its own initiator in a sense because the soul is not just you it's you it's before you it's after you it's all of your past life it's all of this it's the, the primordial seed of the divine mother you know what i'm saying and so when you are touched by this wisdom and this information and, and this knowledge and it moves you and you end up having these visions and you have, you know, things happen, which was what was has been written about in Revelations. It's going on today. And, um, I mean, I can really, you know, prove that. A lot of people have already done that, so we can just move on. And uh, so, you know, they want to be in charge of initiations like the voodoo voodoo priests you know voodoo priests they in in america at least brazil they they want they want five hundred dollars for you to be a priest or some shit like that whatever whatever you know that's just crazy we're dealing with uh higher spiritual uh uh situations right now you know what i'm saying part three is going to come up so i guess i'll begin part three with reading from the the, the sources and things like that but uh, I was wanting to tell you about Kadesh or Kadush real quick if I can find it. If not, I'll talk about it in the next video. Uh, it's just so much information in here. I just I know I took a, I bookmarked it, but it might have been in another book. Uh, I don't think so. Mm. Five Cosa Secret of the V. No. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can go to the context. Kadush. Let's see the stops with a K or a Q. So, in the case, I have Cole outlined. Kadush, Kadush. Uh, Kabul, uh, it's not going to show me, uh, I do know that it is in this book somewhere. It is more likely in other books as well. Oh, with a Q, with a Q, okay? Spelling it with a Q in this book. 
uh, part two coming up. This one is about to end. Kadush.